the dynastic run on the tennis court. Welcome into the next edition of the State Line Sports Reporters Podcast. I'm Cole Johnson, and we have a special one today. After this past weekend, more hardware was brought back to Marion, Virginia, thanks to the Scarlet Hurricanes girls tennis team. After capturing their second consecutive Class II state championship, and with the cherry on top being Junior standout Parker White, who did the unthinkable, winning her third consecutive state title in as many years. And she's not done yet. She still has a senior campaign to go with a team that's fully loaded, coming back with most of the team back for the 2025 spring. And they are ready to go now in the offseason. As the dust settled, I got a chance to catch up with both Parker and head coach Doug Grubb about the year that they had. And for Parker, she kind of reflects on what this season meant to her and we go back in time all the way to the first time she picked up a tennis racket to now in the offseason on the cusp of potentially completing the full sweep of four titles in four years take a listen let's get right to it um three straight three consecutive class two state titles can you explain that can you explain what that feels like Honestly, the, my freshman year, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I was just the freshman that made it to state. I didn't think that anything would ever come from it. And then sophomore year, I came in with new pressure, but I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself to do it again. And then this year, just coming and having such a close finals match, it was a relief to win again. You know, after you win that, that first one, it's probably the toughest one to get, right? And you're just a baby freshman. Um, after that, does it just kind of all fall into place and it's like you're just kind of falling into a routine and you know what to expect each year? I wouldn't say I know what to expect just because there's so many new competitors each year, but I would say that I feel a new type of pressure each season coming in, but I've grown to be accustomed to it coming in in February each year. What was that? Was there a leap between that? from that freshman year to sophomore, junior year, did, have you felt a growth in yourself? I would say definitely just as a person and as a player, just having a different game each season and coming in with different strengths and different weaknesses and, you know, a different look at my game as I grow older. You've gotten three in a row uh, and you still have one year left. People might not uh, expect that. Be like, oh, she's just a senior, way to cap it off. You got one more run at it. Um, what does this offseason look like for you as you try to, you know, go for a fourth straight, a clean sweep in your high school career? I would just say training as hard as I can each time that I'm out on the court and just remembering what I'm looking forward to, but not putting too much pressure on myself that I have to do it, but just to go out there and have fun while I'm playing every day. Is that kind of the, your biggest thing going into your last year is like, you know, just have fun with it. You know, it's it's your last ride. I don't want to take advantage of it. I just want to be grateful each time I'm out on the court and just know that I'm walking off having fun whether I win or lose. Do you have plans to keep playing tennis after high school? I definitely want to stay somewhat local. I don't I haven't decided on a school for sure yet but I would say I definitely want to play college tennis. So take me back to the beginning in tennis and where that started for you and this whole journey. It was actually on these courts. Um, I would played a bunch of different sports when I was little and so there was a rec tennis camp when I was in elementary school and I was like sure I'll try it out and I ended up loving it and so I came out with the same person who started running it and I did a few lessons with her for a couple years and then I got into other sports and kind of just let it go and then between my seventh and eighth grade year I started to pick it back up again and just fell in love with it. When did it become like ultra competitive for you where you were like yeah I'm gonna do this and you know win this and go for it. I would say when I stopped playing basketball in high school I put all of my time into tennis and I was like I want to be the best that I can and train as much as I can for this one sport. You feel like that was one of the best decisions you've you've made so far in your young Definitely. life? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I mean I love tennis and I've always had tennis as my number one sport so it was good to be able to spend all of my time throughout the year on that one sport and not have to divide it up. When you look back at when you first started playing um, back in those days uh, and when you started that, made that shift to ultra competitive, like s sticking solely to tennis, did, did you envision that you would be able to accomplish something like this? Definitely not. I was just wanting to play the best that I could all four years of my season. I never 
had any expectations of myself to win district or region or definitely not even state but I've loved that I was able to do it and that I've been able to show myself that I can do it without putting the pressure on myself that I have to do it. When it comes to your teammates, um, with, with all the success you have, obviously being the number one um, on your team, what, what, what comes with that? Do you, do you enjoy being, you know, is, do you lead more by example, by, by, by vocally? How do you kind of handle that? Um, I would say I definitely support my teammates vocally. We had new players on the team this year and we all wanted to encourage them that they would be able to come out here and do the same thing that the rest of us have throughout our high school career. But I would say most definitely by, you know, vocal, just being there for them and supporting them, picking them up when they're down and just being that, not leader necessarily, but coming in with experience, being able to tell them how everything goes and, you know, show them how each stage is handled. Well, then you obviously winning your third straight singles, but cherry on top of that, that's kind of the cherry on top to what your team has done. Two straight team class two titles. How, how does that feel that you have a collective group? It's not just you, it's a collective group that can get it done. It's been really great, especially going in knowing that, you know, I was in singles, doubles and team, knowing that I'm not the only one from my school up there and that we're all accomplishing things like these steps and stages together and not just me by myself. It's been a really supportive group of girls. I'm really glad I've had them by my side. So in a sport like this, obviously, you're when you're on the court, you're trying to win yourself, but then you're also rooting for your teammates. So when you know you had a good day and you win your point, how important is the, that support for, for your teammates to get through and win the match as a team? And how exciting is that for you when your teammates pull through and help you out? Oh, it's really great because, I mean, like you can't win a team match by yourself, obviously, but being able to go out there and play for my team, even though I'm playing on a singles court, that's been really good mentally, I think, for all of us, knowing that we're showing up not only for ourselves in our own matches, but for each other, trying to get to five for the team and just finishing on our court and going and cheering on the others. It's been really good. So you keep bringing these, these trophies here back to Marion. Uh, <laughs> um, do you feel... Uh, do you feel like a rock star when you guys come back home? Not necessarily. I just think that, you know, we have a really good small town community that's there to support us each way, whether we're playing in district or region or when we came back from winning state. You know, everybody's really supportive, really, you know, like congratulating us and everything that we're accomplishing. So it's been really good. Well, you got to be the, the top top dogs in the athletics now going for uh, next year uh, talking to coach you, you have added incentives going in because we talked about you um, obviously f singles wise could go for a fourth straight clean sweep at team could get their third straight how does that feel going in to next year knowing that you have a chance to do something even more incredible that you've already done it's really good it gives us all something to continue to work for, especially the three of us who are going to be seniors. Like we really want to finish off our high school career the best that we can. So like that means like we want to go for team. I want to go for singles and me and my partner want to go for doubles. So I think that it's really good to look forward to and like how we want to finish our high school careers. You mentioned doubles. Um, that's the one that's the missing piece, right? You made it to the final the last two years. Um, what would that mean to complete that? kind of that ultimate trifecta and win a double state title? Oh, that would be really special just because, I mean, me with two different partners, I mean, we've made it to the state level all three years and we just haven't gotten it done. So just to know that we could, it's our last chance and we could finish it off, it would be really special to us. What's the next few weeks look for you, look like for you going in the summer? What's uh, your plans? Probably just tennis, wherever I am, whether it's in Marion or on vacation, Definitely squeezing in tennis at some point. Squeeze it and even on vacation, huh? Do you gotta find, wherever you're going, do you have to search around and find tennis courts Normally before you even do. go? <laughs> Normally we do, where there's a close park nearby, so it's easy to find them. Who plays with you? My brother plays sometimes. I got him into tennis a few years ago, and he plays occasionally, but he's mainly into golf. So if I can carry, if I can drag him onto the tennis court, then normally we can rally pretty good. You can drag him there, he can drag you on the golf course. How's that sound? Have you golfed? <laughs> I've tried to. I'm not good at it, but I've tried to. Okay. Maybe that can be your, your second thing after when, when tennis is over. Yes. <laughs> um, just 
going into your senior year, um, you, we talked about you just want to have fun, but outside outside of tennis, what, what are some things you want to, you know, you've talked about growth inside yourself on and off the court. Is that something, what are you looking forward to most going into the one final high school ride? I would just say just appreciating the milestones. Because, I mean, all of us were talking and we are like, it doesn't feel like we're going into our senior year. So we want to appreciate it before it just flies by and we don't get to relive those memories again. Fast forward to a, uh, in the future, a year from now, and you're sitting here and say you've won a fourth straight singles, a third straight team title. What, what do you feel like that feeling would be like in a year from now? Oh, I would just be super grateful like with our teammates, I think for sure we would just be, you know, over the moon that we could accomplish it and that we were there for each other the whole time. Um, but if that were to happen, like we would just be super happy and proud of each other that we were able to step up for not only ourselves, but for the rest of the team. Marion Tennis, what, what, what's it all about? How did how you guys built something like this? I think... Not only, I think we push ourselves every day during practice because we are such a close-knit group of girls. Like we are friends on and off the court. We're all super close. So I think showing up, even if we don't want to our, for ourselves, but being there for our teammates and for our friends and like wanting to win for them too, it helps push us a step further. Just before your final ride, just describe to me what this journey has been like since you took the court for the first time in your freshman year on the varsity team. It has been a whirlwind for sure. It's not what I would have expected. Coming in freshman year, this is not what I would have expected at all. But I've been really joyful through it all. And I think that as long as I'm happy and you know playing the way that I want to, then it's just been like a really surreal journey. I'm just really grateful for it all. And just playing with not only happiness, but with an attitude of gratitude. That was like my main motto from this last season was like whether I lose or win, I just went out, go out there and be grateful that I have the ability to play. And so that's been a really good stress reliever through it all. And hopefully you can get one through one more year with that racket, right? It's uh, going on in the middle there, it's fading out. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely have to get it restrung soon, but it's not the first time. I have to get it restrung quite a bit, so it's, it'll be okay. So there was Parker. You can see a lot of wisdom there. Very humble young athlete as she hopes to continue her journey on the tennis court past high school. It's still the one year to go trying to complete that sweep. But to the other side of the leadership for the Scarlet Hurricanes, the man at the helm, Doug Grubb, who has been there for the last several years to see this program build into what it is and has seen Parker White grow before his eyes to something he could not imagine, even though he could tell right from the start how special she could be and several other of the Scarlet Hurricanes. Now he talks about w what this program means, how it is built into the mini dynasty it has now, and what the expectations are going into another year where they're locked and loaded looking for a third straight team title. What a couple of years it's been um, here at the helm of Marion Girls Tennis, uh, kind of turning into a hello powerhouse in, cl in class two. What's that feel like to be, you know, under the leadership of these girls they make it so easy to coach it's it's a it's a great feeling it's easy it's fun uh it's a phenomenal group of girls to to be around and to coach and when it comes to every day and during the season practice and matches um you said they're a phenomenal group so as a coach does it make it easier for you to kind of sit back and just kind of watch them do their thing because you trust that they can Practice isn't probably as regimented as some schools. Uh, we come out, we hit, we do some drills, uh, but we also like to put a little fun in it as well. These, these girls are so well versed in the game that the coaching is minimal. It's, it's more probably um, not attitudes, but I, I guess keeping everybody in check as, as much or even more than it is with just tennis. So, You know, when you um, took over the girls. Um, what was, uh, is this something that you had in mind knowing that it would be possible that you could become back-to-back -back state champs as a team? Well, to be honest, I, uh, I had the opportunity, uh, the gentleman that was coaching them before I got it, uh, my daughter was on the team 
and he left her senior year and I was coaching the boys at the time because my son played for the boys um, and I saw the opportunity I never got a chance to coach my daughter uh, so I jumped at that opportunity I, I, I knew these girls were were up and coming but I didn't know exactly what I was getting myself into but it, it turned out to be a, a tremendous tremendous opportunity and, and they've just taken us to new heights. A lot of schools you know you win a state title and you know you go through a little bit of a rebuild some schools do because you pack up you get upperclassmen they win a title and then you kind of got to start over again. The cool thing about you guys is you're kind of you're right back in it you're returning pretty much the whole team next year so does it make it a little different that you know now that you've won two straight now you can chase a third straight? It does it's it's a it's a great feeling uh, to know that you don't really have to to rebuild we just we're just sort of reloading we've got a uh, our only senior, uh, she didn't play any of the postseason. She got injured in soccer. Um, so we had a freshman step in. So I had two freshmen uh, at the bottom of the lineup that did a phenomenal job for us. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a wonderful feeling just to know that we just have to step in there and just keep doing what we've been doing. How does it feel when you go, you know, out to state and you guys are not only representing just your team, but your school, uh, the Marion Scarlet Hurricanes are there making noise um, upstate a little bit. Well, it's, that's what we've talked about all season. Uh, these girls play for the team. They're, uh, they're, they're great individual players, but, but they know that everything is ultimately for Marion Senior High School, and, and they, they represent the school really well. When you talk about, we just talked about um, going for a third straight. Um, does anything change in this off season? Do you guys just keep doing what you've been doing the last couple of years? How does that look like? I don't. I don't really see any any reason to mess with with what works. <laughs> we've uh, we've done done it this way for well the three years that I've been coaching, and uh, somehow some way we just keep getting better. Uh, these girls, I think they love the the game of tennis. Uh, is what makes it so wonderful. They uh, play throughout the. It's there's not a pick up the racket in February and end in June. It's they play. All they've already started since the season just ended at the end of last week. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for them. It's a great opportunity for me and, and just knowing that they're always going to be here. So they're always going to do what they do. So That kind of comes with the trust that you talked about, just being exactly. trusting that they're, they're going to put the work in. Um, so were you surprised at all when you guys clinched that final point and won, won the title last week? Was I surprised? No. Uh, I knew they had it in them. I knew they uh, if they just like I said before, if they just do what they do, then you know it's they go out on the court, and I don't really even have to to coach the tennis game. I just I just keep their emotions in check for them. Uh, we'll throw in a couple of jokes and stuff on changeovers and things like that. Just keep everything light, and and they just they just go out there and play tennis and win. A big part of that talk about your super junior over here in Parker, um, third straight singles title. Um, can you even describe how? Uh, got to this point and just the, the, her growth over the last few years? Well, I knew when she first started, uh, her parents asked me to, to help her out a little bit and to see if I could get her interested in the game back early. Uh, first couple of lessons that we, we went out, I just knew, you know, there was something special about this kid. Uh, she's, she eats tennis, she breathes tennis, she sleeps tennis, she's just, it's a, it's a, it's a great opportunity for me. Uh, to have somebody like this on the team and to lead the team, and she's just a and phenomenal student as well. Now, when you're coaching uh, players like that, do you, you can tell if they they have it in them, like you said, eating, breathing the sport, and right. they could succeed. You know, here at the school, being one of the best of the school in the area, the region. But can you tell that you know it's good enough to win back to back to back state championships, going you know other class two from all over the state? No, it, it was. Not a surprise, but it was, it was, I don't know how to put it. It was really nice when she won her first one. But then I see how she works every day and, and her training and everything in the off season. And I just knew as long as she kept that up, which she has, it's, it would just, it would just snowball. Like we talked about with the team going for a third straight. You have Parker that could go and win a fourth straight singles. Um, so that's another added incentive going into next season. Um, how exciting is 
for, for you is that, that it's not just the team, but you also have individuals, doubles, going for something even more special? Well, like you said, the, the team the team is their, is their top priority. Uh, Parker winning three extras. We'd love to get a doubles title next year. Uh, we've been so close. My first year, they went to the semis of state, and then the last two years, they've been in the finals. And so hopefully next year we can pull that over the over the top. But it's it's yeah it's it's great just knowing that that everybody's going to be there and, and everybody's giving 100 percent. And that would be the ultimate trifecta to get a, to get the doubles in there as well. Especially for the for the ones that have done such a great job for the throughout the last four years. So. Just keep racking those the trophies up there behind me, uh, those and maybe some banners in the gym. Do you guys have any banners up? No, they don't. They don't I don't know why they don't do the banners. Um, I'd, that'd be great if we did. That'd, that'd be a nice, nice tribute. Yes. When people all throughout the state think of here Marion Tennis, what do you want them to know? What do you want them to think? We're uh, we're here. <laughs> we're here. We're all coming back and. And uh, I hope we can, can, like I said, continue this magical ride. All right, that wraps up the next edition of the St. Line Sports Reporters Podcast. Thank you for tuning in, and be sure to stay tuned as we'll have more content coming out through the summer. I'm Cole Johnson. Have a good one.